welcome again friends welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's biology we've been talking about different types of blotting techniques in this video I'll be summarizing all the major three types of blotting techniques and the difference between southern blotting northern blotting and western blotting so let's go with that the blotting technique means is the way of detecting the macromolecules that are present inside the cell at a specific time now it could be DNA, it could be RNA or protein molecules. Now if we are going to detect DNA molecule, we use southern blotting. If you are going to detect RNA, we use northern blotting. If you want to detect protein, go for western blotting. The name of these things are with directions but there is no link with directionality because the name of southern blotting was, was according to the name of the discoverer of this technique, E.M. Southern. And then after four years, the other technique of RNA detection is determined that is known as northern. And then as is these things are named like southern and northern, the third and the last technique that is developed, which is, which is the detection of protein, came into known as a western blot. So now if you look at here, we'll be seeing some characteristics for all these three and the differences between all these three based on these characteristics. Starts with the molecules detected in the process of southern blotting, we detect DNA in the presence of DNA molecule. In case of northern blotting, we detect the presence of RNA molecule. In case of western blotting, we detect the presence of protein molecule. Okay? Now, among these three blotting techniques, southern blotting and northern blotting is very, very similar because they deal with DNA and RNA. While western blotting is different from southern and northern blotting. Western blotting is the most sensitive among these three because it can detect up to the nanogram of the DNA. Okay? The second characteristic is the electrophoresis type that we use to separate. Now in any blotting techniques, there are three different stages. The first stage is the extraction of the molecule. The second stage is the electrophoresis or the separation of the molecule. And the third stage is the blotting process and the fourth stage is the probing of that molecule. So there are actually four different stages. In case of this electrophoresis, southern blotting, where we do the separation of DNA, we use agarose electrophoresis. Or agarose gel is used for the electrophoresis purpose. In case of northern blotting, we use agarose gel, but that agarose gel is carrying formaldehyde because in case of northern blotting, the RNAs are normally extracted in the, in the secondary structure format. So we need to resolve the secondary structure to make the RNA linear so that the separation of RNA can be done based on their length. That's why we use formaldehyde in the agarose gel in case of northern blotting. In case of western blotting, we use completely different type of gel and in this case we use SDS page which is a polyacrylamide gel. In case of southern and northern, we use uh, agarose gel, but in case of western blotting, we use polyacrylamide gel. Okay? The third characteristic is the blotting method that we use. The blotting method that we use in southern blotting is, is, is using a capillary. It using, sorry, it using capillary force or capillary method that will help uh, to take the DNA component from the gel binding towards the nitrocellulose membrane. In case of northern blotting, we also use this capillary, capillary force for transferring the content of RNA that is present in the gel to the membrane. What we do here, we simply put the gel on the bottom, then we put the, put the, capillary, the, the membrane and we place them in the buffer so that buffer can run and pass through the gel and then finally to the membrane. That is the capillary force that we use. In case of western blotting, however, we use electro electro elution. Electro elution technique. In that case, what we do, we put the gel and we put the membrane, but we put the electrodes which will help to migrate the proteins. We use current as like electrophoresis to transfer proteins from the gel to the membrane. That is the difference. 
Now then look at the fourth characteristic that is the probe that we use. The probe that we use in case of southern blotting are DNA probe. Single stranded DNA are used as a probe which will be attached with any kind of radioactive radio labeling is done and also it could be attached with any certain chemical molecules uh, that is attached to like uh, any chemiluminescence molecule. In case of northern blotting we also use DNA probe. So the hybridization process of the probe with the target in case of DNA is DNA in case of southern blotting is DNA DNA hybrid. But in case of northern blotting the hybridization is done by DNA RNA hybrid because RNA is the target and the probe that we use uh, is the cDNA. So the DNA RNA hybrid is formed. While in case of western blotting is completely different we use antibody as a probe and actually use two different antibody primary antibody and secondary antibody in this whole process of probing. And the last one that is the detection system. The detection system that we use in case of southern blotting and northern blotting as are same. We use either radioactivity, we can use chemiluminescence, we can also use colorimet colorimetric analysis. In case of northern blotting we do the same as I told you. In case of western blotting radioactivity is not used and not preferred because there is no way of marking the proteins or radio labeling the proteins in a convenient way. So we use either chemiluminescence or colorimetric analysis. Chemiluminescence means after the reaction we get the light, the emission of light that can prove the presence of the target protein or colorimetric analysis can also give us the generation of a color that can also prove the presence of the protein. So that in a sense are the difference between southern blotting, northern blotting and western blotting. I hope this video helps you to understand about the process. Now if you want to talk about and, and understand each of this process in much more details with all the steps and, 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 and techniques, I will recommend you to watch uh, my three videos on both southern blotting, northern blotting and western blotting. I made new videos among all these type of blotting techniques which you can watch anytime and uh, the links are provided in the description. So hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that and share this video with your friends. Remember sharing is caring. Thank you.